What's going on, my Lissy fans? My name is Lissy Sands, and today we are playing some more Sonic Adventure DX. So, in the last episode, we beat Chaos 1, or Chaos 0. We finished Emerald Coast, rescued Tails, and defeated Eggman for the first time. In this episode, Options. Choose the feature you want. we're going to be picking up where we left off. Select your character. As Sonic, not Tails. Let's get him. Tails will come later along with the other characters. We're going in a circle, except we're skipping the worst character for last. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm probably going to be making weird noises for a little bit in this episode because I just had a sip of Mountain Dew. Anyways, now that we've defeated Eggman up here as the Egg Hornet, uh, over there you'll see that ledge. That ledge right there. We aren't gonna worry about that until we, we're done with everyone's story because that is cleanup. We're gonna wanna take this windstone. This windstone will take us over here. We wanna take it over here and you'll reach this area. How convenient, you have a windstone ha that has the same symbol here. You place it down and it magically fits into place, jump over here, and you start the second stage of the game, Windy Valley. And man, do I love this stage's music. So, uh, yeah, Windy Valley. Some of this music would be familiar if you played Sonic 3D Blast before this, because, yeah, they re ended up remixing some of the songs in that game, because, eh, that's a spin-off game, no one would have ever played it. Besides, these songs were all from the Genesis port, the one with the better soundtrack, but the worst graphics. They were focused on the new console at the time, so... Also, keep on homing attacking there, and you'll hit that life capsule. And then you get sucked up into a tornado. With a new track. Head straight up. You should be able to get out of the tornado. No dip to call. Jump on panel number one. It will take you to panels two and three. What Jump about four and five? On a panel or else you'll fall. Anyways, this area can be prone to some jank cameras. Like right here. How am I supposed to know where to land? Anyways, after you get out of here, more 3D Blast music! That's also Caterpillar Jr., I want to say, that I just killed. Or the flying version of Caterpillar. Anyways, jump there or spin dash into it and you'll destroy it. And then, you run down here with magnets in the walls. So, yeah, all of these badniks that we're destroying give us animals. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to show off a little spin dash jump trick for later. Eh, I can show it off when you actually get the thing required to get that. Because that spin dash jump trick is not intended. Anyways, head over here and you get another electric shield plus another way up here. Then you'll hit the spring, bounce around, and we're now in Tails' portion of the stage. Anyways, do not spin dash on these parts. You will die. Yeah, this game has collision issues. But all 3D Sonic games do, and this one isn't nearly as bad as 06. Anyways, I hope the music is better. I tried fixing it, although it's been a while since I fixed it and recorded the last one. Also, I think I'm just gonna um, focus on doing my Steam library for Let's Plays instead of doing Minecraft yes. stuff anymore. So I'll do Steam library and Epic Games library instead of Minecraft stuff at the current moment. If I do do Minecraft, yeah, then it'll bad. probably be something It'll be few and far between because those take a lot out of me to produce. So yeah, sorry about that. Hope you don't mind. But 
I have a lot more games on that I want to do Let's Plays on. Anyways, now that we're done with Windy Valley, great stage by the way, we're going to want to head it back to Station Square. So climb up these jank stairs and hop in here. I'm going to show you something though. You use the right stick and you can see your character doesn't move. The train moves, but your character doesn't. They just turn them invisible. Anyways, what you're going to want to do now that it's dawn here is head over here. There used to be a police blockade here that wouldn't let you go there. Although you could spin dash through it if you did it right. Also, out of the way, bozo. You want to hop down into the sewers. Now, don't ask me why Sonic showers in the next stage we're going to, but he doesn't shower here because he was in the sewers both times. Anyways, right here we get our first power up. Or upgrade. Let's let to call no, go through here. Light speed shoes. Press and hold the action button to store up power. Once you have enough power, release the button and you can do the light speed dash. The light speed dash lets you race toward rings at light speed. As long as there's a trail of rings, you can go just about anywhere. Also, I've never seen anyone ever comment on this section. The light dash to run along the paths of rings. Yes, to call. I just ready, went inactivated just so I could show this off. Power. These all look like old arcade machines. I wonder if one of these is Street Fighter 2. Anyways, go ahead and spin dash, and as you spin dash now, you'll see you have these blue lights flowing into you. It takes a really long time to charge up, but then once you do it, you press the button, and then you release your spin dash charge, and you'll fl flow up on the rings. Anyways, now we're in this store. Hey, don't use the back door. Screw you, I can do what I want. This mysterious egg shape thing, we're gonna deal with later. Anyways, now we were in there all afternoon, <laughs> which is kind of weird. But now we're gonna want to head back to Station Squares. Um, we're gonna wanna head into the hotel room. And there are two ways of getting to this next area. First of all, you can stand here and charge up a light speed dash. Uh, excuse me, I said you can stand here and charge up a light speed dash. Excuse me? I've done this before. Charge up the light speed, there we go. You can charge up the light speed dash and you'll activate that button. The intended way is for you to go up these stairs, charge up your light speed dash here, Activate both these buttons at once. Ready. Hit the one that activates the door, and then let's be dash into it. And here you get the clish, the crystal ring. This is the crystal ring. This reduces the time needed to store power for the light speed dash. Not by much. Ready. It goes from four seconds to two seconds. Hang on, let me try some. You can do a double air dash if you if you homing attack once you have this charge. Like homing attack and then release, you can do a double air dash. Anyways, the reason why we went and did this is because it's something needed to go into the next level. If you head over here, you'll go to one of Sonic's many addiction areas. Gambling! In my kid's game? In my Sonic game? No! Well, actually, yes, every Sonic game after Sonic 2 has had gambling in it. I'm gonna show off the Knight's Pinball first. Speaking of which, if you have a game suggesting you want me to try out for a little for a let's play or something, uh, you're gonna have to gift it to me on Steam cause if I don't already have it. So yeah, keep that in mind. Type it in the comments, I'll let you know if I have it or not, and then I'll, if not, then you'll have to gift it to me. Anyways, right here we're going to the Knight's Pinball. I've never played Knight's until 
just after I recorded the last episode, so, yeah. Anyways, I'm not showing off everything, but basically you gather cards to get rings, and this stage is also one of the worst stages in Sonic Story. Anyways, uh, you go ahead and hit the flippers to try... Well, you gotta hit those pink things up there to try and unlock a door, which you'll reach something uh, that shows off knights. Uh, if I can get up there, then I, c I may be able to show it off. I'm not sure how. You know, typically when that happens, it's kind of a, a luck for me. Like, I don't know how you get to that secret area, really. Ah, I see. I think you just gotta launch yourself somehow into that one area. I don't want to spend so long in here because this pinball stuff really does take a while. Oh, we can go in. Let me in. Let me in to show off the secret. Gosh darn you. No. Oh lord, I hate this pinball stage. Especially since I have no more extra balls to save myself. Come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh lord. Now if this were the Sonic 2 styled one, then it would be a whole separate story because I actually want to lose all my balls in that one. And by that, my pinballs. Let me into the area. Come on. Oh, thank you. Let me into the area. I'm getting really sick of this. Come on. I want to show it off. Well, you're just going to have to watch someone else play this stage to see the secret there. Anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and deposit our rings here. You see, this is why it sucks. In order to win, you have to collect 400 rings in order to collect that Chaos Emerald. Which, that's the silver one. Isn't that normally the last one you get? Try and deposit as many rings as you can. It may even help show you the way. Also, um... Hold on. Oh, you see that empty space? The more rings you collect, the more a Sonic statue gets built there. Since I've deposited about 100, there's a Sonic statue getting built. Knuckles destroys that right after we do this. Anyways, now we're going into the Sonic pinball one. Into which I'm gonna immediately fail because I don't wanna show off the slot machine. You'll see plenty of this if I ever get to Sonic 2, which I have, and I certainly will do a let's play on eventually. Knowing me, I'll probably end up having to I'll probably end up redoing this let's play in the future for better um, quality and stuff. Since I'm so well, since this is still in my early days of doing Let's Plays, I'm probably going to end up redoing most of this stuff. I still do need to get back to doing Slime Rancher. The one issue with that is that I lost... Oh, by the way, here we are in the sewers. Charge up light speed dash, and then release it on this rings, and you'll immediately fly past it, blowing up everything in your way. 
But as I was saying, uh, you, I need to get back to Slime Rancher, but I lost the save file that we were playing on, so I've kind of been discouraged. Also, <laughs> my rings were at 69 for a second. <laughs> Uh, buggy. All right. So basically, the reason why I said you'd probably see this area the most if you were playing the Knight's Pinball is because this area is the most common. And also, why did I just get hit? Oh my lord! I hate this. I hate this area, and I hate the stage. I'm. It's not gonna be fun when I go back to replay this for the 100%. Anyways, enter here, don't hit the dash pad, and keep jumping to hit all the ring boxes. Oh, uh, I missed one. Gotta head back. That's why you dodge the dash pads. Because the camera does not work with you. It's like Crash Bandicoot. If you miss something that you really wanted, you gotta backtrack against the camera's wishes. Anyways, I think I need about 200 rings in order to finish this area. So I'm going to be spending a lot of, a uh, bit of time here. Let's see. Alright, here's the second exit that I don't want to take because I need those rings right now. Come on, let me up. Let me up. There we go, 200. Now, if I exit through this way, I think it should be one with a lot of ring boxes in it. This sewer area is also kind of a maze. You want to take the longest path so you can get the most rings, but if you end up taking the wrong pathway, you immediately get sent to on... If you end up taking the wrong pathway, you either immediately get sent to the end of the sewers, or you lose or you lose out on some rings because you can't backtrack and I just realized I never normally take this because I've never seen that area before but yep this is the longer way go ahead and charge up light speed dash here collect all the rings you can right here and light speed dash once you then you'll want to run jump release your light speed dash and now a lot of people say you cannot avoid that shower thing but you can if you homing attack but i want to show it off since it's a let's play so you stand there and sonic sonic shakes himself off and you can't do anything in that section Anyways, right here you can also shower, but it's kind of pointless. Because, I mean, you get a shield if you do the light speed dash thing there. What am I- At the shower, Sonic. Don't go into the shower. Anyways, uh, now I should have enough rings to finish the stage. Hallelujah, nine minutes in. This is a really sucky stage. Like, you're supposed to go fast in Sonic. Yet this is the slowest stage in his entire story. Let's see. I have 545 rings. Let's see, how's that Sonic statue doing? Still nowhere near done. Yeah, I'm never gonna finish that Sonic statue unless I really want to do a live stream in the far future. Because if I do, I'm gonna need a co-host and a lot of people to talk to. Yeah, not Nine bad. minutes! If this were SA2, that would be a E rank. You would not get anything higher than that. Anyways, here's a cutscene. After these few cutscenes, I'll probably end this episode, although this will not end my play session. Because yeah. I want to finish Sonic's story in this hey. session. And of course I skipped the cutscene again because I'm holding down on the D-pad. Basically that cutscene, uh, as Sonic Spin dashes oh away. Oh man, what happened to that emerald we just had? Uh, I guess Eggman's got one of them.
But the other one's safe, and that guy must be desperate. That means his two to our one, and that's not good. Come on, Sonic, we need to get busy. Tails, you got the wrong, you got the line wrong. It's that's no good. Anyways, uh, in that cutscene, basically Eggman uh, ambushes them as they leave. The the Sonic the drops the one see. of the emeralds. I think it's the one they got at Miss at Windy Valley, because it looked purple in the cutscene. And uh, basically, Sonic tries to recover it. Eggman gasses both of them with his bean burrito farts. It knocks them out for the rest of the night. Anyways, now here we are. We've got an ice stone, which we have to run back to the Mystic Ruins. Now, if you're a big Sonic 3 fan, you'll probably really like this next stage, but you're gonna have to wait until I release the next episode, which, you know, I'm probably gonna end up alternating between Sonic Generations and Sonic Adventure every day, because I don't really have anything else to really do for LPs. I mean, Minecraft takes up way too much time for me to release a video weekly or monthly. I mean, you've seen how much how much it's taken from me doing my Spooncraft videos. Sure, it was a lot shorter when it was Hermit or Bust, but that was because it was just me planning things out. It wasn't me having to work around updates for the server and everyone else's things that they're doing. Anyways, place the ice key here and you unlock the next stage. So, that's going to do it for this episode. If you like my content and want to see more from me, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions on how I can get better, or any potential games I can do in the future, maybe a Sunday video can be one where I play a suggestion game. Suggestion Sunday, maybe? Uh, then leave that down in the comments as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends, and hit the bell so you don't, and hit the bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future content. This is Losey Sands Gaming, signing out.